Malo e lele, a e tonga kotoa, tali tali lele mo tolu i ifi mai FMG Stadium ki he tau World Cup qualifier a i kale he tahi mo manu Samoa. Mo more love to fata lo faatu. Welcome into FMG Stadium for Samoa and Thai. Good tackle, ala ala tour. So they are muscling up now for Lemmy. Advantage! And a penalty advantage as well, took a lure. Got the advantage, Lloyd. And a little attacking kick, Salmake. Great tackle. Salmake, look at the field position. Mark called there, we're going back, blow offside. That's the first points for Kalatahi Tonga. Yeah, great work, out. Yona. Yeah. To Maunga. Advantage! One. And a penalty advantage. Roll. Ala Ala Tour, his second carry and three rucks and an offload. Tom Atiene slips the first tackler. And Nuya. Gee, what form he's been in the last couple of weeks, Raymond Nuya. Back down the left edge with a grubber kick Off along point. the ground. And we're coming back for the penalty advantage. Filemi never rolled away on the fourth phase. First one back here. And Taifu, who has been so good for Manu Samoa, restores the 29 point. It was unfortunate to have been around Pacific Nations rugby for a long time for Nor Kalafi. And the ball won on the ground by James Favar. He wasn't the intended target, but then they can see the penalty. For Taifu. The wind seems to have dropped off, and the ball is through the middle. Samoa lead by six points to three. Otolani yeah! offloads the ball for Tupolotu. Runs over the top. That's a carry. That's how you announce your arrival. Get out of my way, says Tupolotu to the Samoa defence. Well, he's one of the most gifted players around. He's represented all three countries, Samoa, Tonga, and New Zealand at under 20 level, the former Wesley College <laughs> student boy is here, right? Taulani behind him, Tupolotu. One against the throw by Samoa. Alamana Motonga. Hard and straight. Alalatoa. Another strong run from the captain, Tomatiene. A ball over the back now, over the top for Ed Fido. They are patient, clinical, and get it done, Ed Fido for Samoa. If you continue to make mistakes at this level of the game, you're going to be punished by one of the great sides of world rugby. The pass there from Yona was just money, and the man who scored one at Mount Smart says, I'll pick up a second at Hamilton. Tackle now! A couple of big shots oh, there. on Taifu. Ala Ala his leadership today has been exceptional. The captain. Yona standing still. So they just get the ball quickly to the left edge for my little left foot, right foot, then the offload on the inside and it's all Martini. The man is Samoa at their very best. He's under the post. What a try. Well, once again, it's about pressure. And then it was the work of Formai that impressed me. I can't wait to see this on the replay because Nerea Formai, Manu's gone. So is Latu. Then he beats Fina, the offload, Alosio, and he sees his halfback, who was outstanding last week, and his form continues in Hamilton. How good have those Sevens players been? Noah. Yona. So Hala and Favar. Good shot on Favar. 
from Taifu. He's doing it all today. Another big shot in defence from Alasil. This is out of the welcome to my house party. Poor old five up. Asking his teammates if they got the license plate to the bus that he got hit by. Get some of that in you. Eh? <laughs> Alessio with a short bomb. Oh, lost forward by Favar. And he's offside on the ground. On, and you're clearly in front. Henry Taifu in all aspects of midfield play. Also, the goal kicker who can hit in defence. We saw that in the first half with a big shot he put on Samaki. The reality is they be headed to the Cook Islands at least they can make something happen now for Fita. Exactly as Willie Losse said, the big fresh winger come in looking for work and now they muscle up on the Samoa defence. Hands away! They look like a new side in the second half, Tonga. Some big carries and really putting it on the Samoa defence line. Time off, guys. Fono Kalafi is the man who yeah. says that he squirreled his way through. On day boo, will he get a try? We'll the man from Grammar Tech. Yeah, just, just give me one second. So he time. believes yeah. he's got it. So that's the ball up. Down on. Is it yeah, short? 16 there, is it? On that. 16 right there, is it? Oh, yeah. Is it short? Thanks, mate. So we all missed it, Fono Kalafi with his first good. try. And from the villages of Havilulotu and Hui, on debut, Fono Kalafi. Last and two Pelotu. Nini trying to hold up the defence to go back. The short side. Yes, Tonga. Jay Pilotto, what a game, what a half. What an influence he's having on this game. Well, somebody's poked the beer in the second half. And they've woken up. Terry Pilotto's been outstanding. The challenge, Sam Moore's defence on the advantage run. Here they come. Time. Advantage. And then another penalty advantage. Here it is. Well, we mentioned at the discipline, he was told the next one down we here, someone about goes. Gave you a clear warning. One's and he's kept go. his word. It's Tomatini. Advantage. Penalty advantage. Lamb place. Half back. Yeah, Tomatini. Yuila with a, just a little short chip over the top. Eli! Gets the ball on the fly and comfortably finishes it off. Stacy Ely. Take a bow, Manu Samoa. Rumble forward, they had the penalty advantage. And then the lovely little heads up play with the kick. That was just delightful. And Ely, who scored a try last week, he picks up a double in two weeks. He's special. First touch of the ball for D'Angelo Leuila. 25 red. A new advantage offside. Fallen marching forward. Roll now, boys. Inside the five. Now Oina big and strong and he swivels away and gets the ball down to Iloma. Too big, too strong and in the end, too good. What a terrific impact from the bench. 130 kegs, and he's running like he's about 99. Oh, nicely taken out of the air by McFarland in the inside ball. It goes forward, and they will finish in a flurry. It was a second half that was dominated by long periods of time for Tonga. But in the end, the Manu Samoa held on to win by 37 points to 15, but more importantly, they claim the final Oceania spot at Rugby World Cup in 2023. Congratulations to Manu Samoa and to Ikalahetahi Tonga.
for giving us a thrilling series.